I don't want to pay somebody yeah. to do it either. <laughs> Screw them. <laughs> Why so pay sixty dollars to, to have your oil changed when I can pay twenty dollars to get the supplies and do it myself? Right, right. Someone has to do some brutal. Anyways, you ready? Yep. Hi, my name is Jeremy Shines, and this is another episode of Community Conversations. This is our guest, Anthony Stelke. Stelke. <laughs> One day you'll get it right. We're glad to have you on our show. <laughs> Let's get started. Hey, Anthony, good day again. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's another beautiful day. It's another beautiful day. They're making a Mr. Rogers movie. Mr. Rogers? Mr. Rogers movie with guess who's, who's starring Mr. Rogers? I don't know. I'll uh, give you a hint. Volleyball Island. Let's see the movie. You know what I'm talking about? I don't, know. I don't even know what movie that is. I'll give you another hint. Um, he was in another movie. He was in a movie with volleyball. And he was in a movie. There was a volleyball and an island. He was talking about volleyball. Oh, um. Castaway with uh, it's not Robert Williams, it's uh, Hank. Hank something. Hank I something? I think it's Hank, isn't it? Or maybe that was <laughs> the name the of last the show. Name. That's the last name. Tom Hanks? Tom Hanks, there we go. <laughs> Tom Hanks is going to play Mr. Rogers? I don't think that's going to be a good. A that's good, the end of our show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's going to be a good. <laughs> I don't think that one's going to be a, a good do uh, Mr. Rogers, because I grew up watching Mr. Rogers. <laughs> yeah, he's doing, he's trying, he's really trying to, eh? but, but I, you know what? I don't know, he Let's, might be able to do it, because he can, <laughs> he can do the melody, I think, because he's, remember Mr. Rogers used to sing the song, like, that was the best part of the whole show, is the song. It's weird, too, because they have the shot, they open up with a shot where he's just, he walks in the room, and just like, he's wearing his sweater, and the sweater jacket, the <laughs> whole movie, he's kind of like, Gently monotone. <laughs> yeah. Well, Doctor, uh, or, uh, the, uh, the guy was like that too. I mean, yeah. he he didn't have very much emotion. He was just kind of there. Was he really in the military? Was I don't know. I've sniper? read rumors. I've rumors about it. I've read Jews all over his arm. And then I've also read where they said that they were all false. So I don't know. Yeah, I really don't know. I mean, it would have been cool if he was, but. He might have been in the military, but I don't think he was a sniper or a SEAL, Navy or, SEAL or something. anything like that. I think he was just in the regular service, from right. what I read. Because I remember reading about it, because I thought that was amazing. I was like, there's no way that that calm old man was a, a Navy sniper. There's no way. Don't you be <laughs> my, my neighbor. neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> That's actually kind of disturbing, almost, you know? <laughs> Him sitting in the jungle going, Mom, should be my neighbor. <laughs> there you go, last lunch. <laughs> That's going to oh. go down. That's the time to go down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it. Oh, man. That's interesting. Holly Berry is playing Little Mermaid. So there's the whole racial. <laughs> uh, I don't really care. I mean, yeah. as long as they keep it kind of the similar. I mean, who cares what color Little Mermaid was? I mean, really, does it change that much in your life that Little Mermaid may be black? I mean, I'm sorry, but that to me doesn't, it doesn't like affect my life like, oh no, my life is never going to you know, be the same. You know what I bet? I bet people, we were talking, we talked about race and stuff, and they'd be like, you know, because, you know, he's black, right? And I'd, and I'd go in that moment, I'd go, what? And I'd go like that, and they'd be like, they'd be like, <laughs> I'm white. <laughs> but, yeah. We're all pink on the inside. I'll guarantee you that one. We'll all bleed red. Because I don't think, uh, you know, anybody bleeds purple or pink or, you know, blue. You know, it'd be awesome. But blue is the color of. Uh, what? It is. You have red veins and you have blue veins. It all depends on your on the oxidation of your blood cells. You know a lot about blood cells and oxygenation. No, but my father was an EMT, so I know a uh, little bit about okay, it. Okay, so he was really rambling on that yeah. when you were doing other things. I was actually his first uh, his first patient. 
Yep, they were still in class. So there were some. So yeah, so he missed your veins and everything. No, no, no. I uh, I had a golf club hit me in the face. That's what happens when you stand too close to somebody who's swinging a golf club. You get smacked in the face with a golf club. Oh, you're that guy. Yeah, I'm that guy. <laughs> you're. No, don't that's... worry, don't worry, don't worry. It's a good friend, and I kind of had it coming. I had, like, the month before, I think I'd smacked him with a baseball bat. He was doing the same exact thing. He was standing a little too close. He was like, he's like, was he golfing? Yeah, well, yeah, we were actually in a park just like we are today. And so you sure? We were just messing around, and he bring and brought it up, and, so yep, but it was wow. it? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. It that's was, terrible. How did that feel? It felt like I got hit really hard in the forehead. <laughs> you know what? You never hear this is really funny. How did that make you feel? Right? Yes. Did you see that in the memes? Yeah, felt me make me feel great. <laughs> but then it's like you never hear. How did that make you think? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm gonna start saying that. <laughs> does that know? make you think? How did that make you think? You're like, I didn't think about nothing, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only thing I was thinking about was that like, bleeding. But yeah, they uh, they strapped me to a table and. Started looking at it, and they bandaged it up, and they then I had, had to go get some stitches. Like, they strapped Well, you? like, they threw me up on a table, oh. and they're all, there's, like, so 12 they... students standing around me, all looking at me, going, yeah, he's got, you know, a three-inch cut on his forehead, and bleeding <laughs> profusely, I think we need to stop the bleeding, you know. They, because... they threw you, or they <laughs> laid you, or they strapped you in, they, like... <laughs> they did something, I don't know, I was real young. Students? Yeah, these are these were people that were going through their EMT. So you were their you were their science project. Yeah, I was basically the frog on the table being dissected. <laughs> were you wearing the same green shirt? No, nope. like frog. No, nope. I don't know what I was wearing, but I know there was a lot of blood everywhere because I tried is... rinsing it off in the in the. Uh, oh man, what do you call them? Uh, I know the scuttle butts, but <laughs> the uh, fountain, the water fountain. Right. Dang. That's what so I realized. Like, they, where was it? Ah, uh, was I think it's that one right there. Scar. Oh, I see it. Yep. I see it. We're gonna have to get a close up of that. We're not gonna get a close up of that, but <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna have to meet him and, and look at his face. Yeah. That's what happens when you get hit with a golf club. Yeah. It's not pretty. <laughs> what kind of iron was it? It was a driver. Really? Yeah. The ones that really go far. Yep. Like, so it was heavy. Yep. It was a big one. Was he was he a big guy? No. He's about my size. We we're we we're all friends. It happens. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm happens sorry. when you play outside, you know. You either fall out of a tree or get hit with a golf club. I've had that. I've had situations like that happen. Um, I want to tell you this situation first. My brother, he would cut my hair when I was younger, right? And the, the, the let's just say this was it, right? He would be like, you know. And this is a very cheap clippers. These are very cheap hair uh, yeah. And it stops working, and it's like, ah, you know when like the TV's not working? You know, you get inside of the TV. <laughs> so he he's not thinking, and he's just like, ah, 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 and he starts to just hit my head <laughs> with this, you know? And I'm sitting, I'm sitting here just I'm like, what are you doing, man? And he's just oh, he puts two together, yeah, and I'm just like, together. I'm a person. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the table. <laughs> you weren't shaving the table. <laughs> Uh, oh. But I've had that happen. Uh, that's not fun. When you're just the, you're just a casualty in that moment. Like even when I work at the uh, I work at this job. Um, it's like an industrial job, and I've heard a lot about. You work at the mines, and I've heard a lot about safety. You know, reason why I'm not working there anymore. But uh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyways, the point is, I was always standing in the places or doing the things that no one. Would it's just because I'm not, I'm not, that's not my uh, environment. Yeah. You know, like when I'd watch my brother work on his car, I'd be always in the place where the, the hazard place. So I, I <laughs> You'd be where the wrench flew. <laughs> I can relate, relate to you. Uh, no, I never, I actually, it was only the one time it never happened. I'd never, never had that happen ever again. But, I mean, it was a lesson learned. <laughs> it still happens to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, now with the young children, you know, it happens yeah. all the time. You know, you'd be sitting there reading something on your phone, and next you know, you get a ball of Yeah. And you're like, where'd that come from? And he's over there giggling, and it's like, hmm. <laughs> and you can't throw it back, because you know <laughs> if you throw it back, you're going to knock him into the wall, and then he's going to scream, and you don't really want to deal with that either. 
<laughs> minus the fact that the minor child abuse and that, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it, it all. Is your patience wearing thin like mine? It does occasionally. It, it was really bad when he was really young, when he was actually a baby, because that high pitch scream for no reason, that was worse than rubbing your fingernails on a chalkboard. That would drive me up the wall, but I figured out how to deal with it. So when he would scream like that, I'd just start screaming. <laughs> Not like at him, but I'd just start screaming around the house. Just be like, ah! You know, and it made me feel better, and it made the, made the baby laugh. You know, and the baby would stop screaming. So it was a win-win situation. I got my stress out, and he got his laugh, and he stopped screaming. You know those moments where they do something so absurd to the point where you're just like, why? <laughs> I, I'm just not going to deal with that. I'm going to just ignore the whole su I see that you bombed this entire place, and people were walking around on fire, but I just don't have the reasoning skills to understand why you would do that, <laughs> you know? And it's just like, I was copying you, Papa. <laughs> I'm just like, do I do that? And sure enough, I look at Nikki and she's like, <laughs> Yeah, we were, uh, I was actually, it happened this morning. We were uh, getting bug dressed and um, he needed to do some stuff. So he would walk into the bathroom, he would do one thing, and then he'd walk out, and then Mama would say, Hey, you forgot this. He'd walk back in there, and then he'd walk back out, and she's like, Hey, you forgot your shoes. And I looked at her, and I looked at her, and I said, that's totally my kid. <laughs> and she looks at me and goes, you think? Joy Joy just walks up to people. Oh. Joy just like, we'll be in the park. They'll have like, we'll be at night at the park right here. Um, and she'll just go walk up to people. Yeah. Like, there'll just be full conversations. People will just go, like, what's up? <laughs> what's y'all talking about? Yeah, yeah. And I'm sitting here just like, watching her like, I do that. <laughs> just walk up and just be like, yeah, yeah. So I was part of that too. <laughs> They're just like, you're not even, you're not even nasty. Kid. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I live by my own. You know, it's Espanol. You know. <laughs> I, I, you, have you ever done that? Have you ever been a, like a, done a random like? You don't know these people, but you're gonna do it. Do you like? You're just gonna butt in. No, normally I know the people if I if I walk up to a conversation. Normally if it's, it all depends on the conversation. If it's a serious conversation, then I just, you know, keep my distance and wait for the conversation to end. If it's something to talk about, like sports or something like that, then I might butt in and be like, yeah, man, I see oh, that. That yeah, was yeah. crazy. But you know? you're not uncomfortable to just, like, if something catches your attention. To... Oh, no. Okay. I'm, a, I'm a people's person. You're a people, he's a people's person. Get a hold of him. So... Do you feel weird when you see someone and it goes like they don't look like me, they're not like me, they don't look like me? Do you feel weird in any way about that? Like what do you mean, just coming into their conversation? Just seeing them for the first time, they don't look like you. Does that no. intimidate you? No, I mean I I grew up in a young age here in here in uh, Nevada, you know, in small towns and stuff. I lived in the Ohio Crescent Valley, Harlan, you know, lived in all the small ones. You know, and then my father got the wise idea to move to Florida. So, in Elko County, in Elko it. County, <laughs> there was like a one to two, one to two black families in the entire oh, county. But in our eyes, they were no different than me and you. you right, know, like right. there was nothing, there was no difference between us. You know, and then in school they teach you, you know, black people come from Africa. <laughs> they came over here on slave ships and stuff, right? So, okay, so I go to Florida where. Hurry up, I, I gotta to, catch my boat. Oh, no, I, I gotta to catch, catch my boat soon. <laughs> yeah, I know, I need to catch my stuff too, you know. But, uh, so, I go to Florida where 90% of the students there are African American. Or black from a different country. Well, where I came from, you know, they were all African American from Africa. So, you know, I'd ask them, you know, like, what, well, you know, I was curious because I'd never seen so many, so many people of the same, like, you know, everybody where I was from here was either Mexican or white. So I asked him, you know, like, what part of Africa do you come from? And these kids would look at me like I was insane. And, like, a few of them actually wanted to beat me up until they realized that you just didn't I know. didn't know. I didn't know that there was black people from everywhere in the yeah. world, you know. <laughs> and, like, they, they thought it was hilarious. But I was like, you got to look at where I come from, you know. Black and white, we're no different right. where, I, where I was raised, yeah. you know. We didn't say, oh, well, you're, you know, you're a different color <laughs> skin, you know. We don't want to be around you no more. You know, it was, you were a person, you were a, you were a kid, you were like us, you know, you got in trouble, you, you did stupid things, you know, I mean, there was no difference in that. 
do you think that there's, I mean, we know that still exists in some places, but maybe not just the black and white, but just as far as just people are afraid of people and for whatever reason they don't go. I don't know if they're other. afraid of them. I think people have a problem with accepting people who what they are or who they are. Right. You know, everybody's like, everybody's different and, you know, that's something that you're going to have to understand and get over with, you know. No two people are going to be alike. I work with people that we would never be friends in, in outside of work. But in work, we work hand in hand together. I mean, we are we are friends at work. You know? Well, not really. I wouldn't say friends, but we we understand each other at work. We talk, we joke once in the blue moon, you know. But there is no there is no segregation there, and there can't be, especially in the job that I do. You know, we work in the mines. Everything there is deadly. I mean, you do the wrong thing and. You know, if somebody that sees you doing it and they don't tell you that that's wrong, you know, they're just responsibility, just just as responsible for you getting hurt or you dying as you were, you know, for doing the thing not that was incorrect. You know, I mean, it's everybody's responsibility. You don't, and I mean, that's that's just human nature in general. It should be, you know, you shouldn't look at somebody standing on a roof balancing on a wheelbarrow, you know. You shouldn't look at that and go, well, that guy's going to hurt himself. No, you, your, your first instinct should be to go up and be like, hey, man, you know, I don't, I don't think this is 100% safe. And I'd hate to see you get hurt. You know, I mean, you might have a family or something, you know. I've, I've known people that have died for stupid reasoning. At, the, at your job? No. Uh, when I was actually in the military, I actually went to a birthday party, and the gentleman's whose birthday it was, he ended up dying that night. That fell, yes, he fell down a flight of stairs and broke his neck. He left behind four children and a wife. And I was like, I was like, what? So Someone he, saw that and could have corrected him. Well, and it wasn't even about that. It was, he had drank too much. It was just, he had drank way too much. And they didn't stop him and they didn't order him. To, well, they wouldn't, he wouldn't accept a cab and they wouldn't force him to take a cab. And he fell down a flight of stairs. I mean, and that could have been anybody, you know, and that, that was hard for me. That was really hard because I was like, you know, that could have been any one of us. Any one of us could have fallen down a flight of stairs and not woke up the next morning. And I think you hit it on the head just now. It could be any one of us that could be, you know, in that place where that shooting happened. Yeah. In that situation, in that, you know, even, even what I find, not only just being the victim, but being the, the aggressor. Yeah. It could be any one of us going through. We didn't grow up. Each other, uh, we were born, we were born, we went through what we went through, made the choices we made. We could be, it was, we could be the ones in you know, these Middle Eastern countries who don't have running water. But yeah. we're born in America. I mean, that's wow. Yeah. You're born in America. Yeah. But it's crazy. It's like, you know, with the homeless persons there, Born in America too, you yeah. know what I mean? If we have we have just as much as anybody other community. The only thing is, we have a little bit better of uh, we have a little bit better standards out here. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a little bit more opportunity. You know, which is great. But you know, other countries I've been to a lot of other countries, and people are happy there just as we are happy here. Right. You know? I mean, they have their they have their homelessness, they have their problems. Mm -hmm. You know, every country does. Every America country. is not any different. Than any other country other than the fact that we just have a little bit different rules. We have a little bit more money here and here. <laughs> Which isn't the greatest thing. I think money is still another issue, but that's so. a different different show. That's so, a different object. We're uh we're about out of time. Is there any last words you want to give out to shout out to Bow Mountain, shout out to your wife and she's gonna run? <laughs> no, actually I'm Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you in our next episode. You know, here's the thing. I didn't expect people to actually show up when they when I said that at the very end. You know, people showed up. Yep. He said no. I'm pretty slow. Thank you. Bye. All right. God bless.